they have in store for you. What are their plans? Are they going to stick to their promises that they made during the campaign period? And you are going to hold them to account as to what they have said to you or the promises that they made during the campaign period. And in the studio today, I have my guest, uh, who is no other person than a candidate of UDP, who is uh, Yaya Sanyang, Honorable Yaya Sanyang, who is representing the um, Latin Kundak Sabiji constituency at the National Assembly. Um, Honorable, uh, you can greet the viewers, of course, uh, and we can start right into this topic. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Africa TV, uh, for this uh, invitation. I am uh, very much privileged uh, to be here. I'm also uh, saying good morning to all the viewers and entire Latin Kundak Sabiji constituency and by extension, uh, the entire Gambia. Right. After the nomination has been done and you were selected among the lot, and you have been elected um, finally by the people of Latur Kunda Sabiji, what is up next for Honorable Yaya now? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, finally, I am the National Assembly member for Latur Kunda Sabiji constituency. I, am, I always said this, I'm representing everybody. I'm representing UDP, APRC, GDC, NPP. Everybody residing in the Kundasabiji constituency, even non-Gambians as well, I'm representing everybody. Yeah. It was a very vigorous campaign. Uh, it was very, very intensive campaign, uh, uh, an intense campaign for that matter. Uh, but Alhamdulillah, we are able to accomplish our, our dreams, that is, uh, UDP won Latikunda Sabji constituency and, or, and many other constituencies in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. Now it is to go uh, to the National Assembly and do what is needful and do what is right. Uh, right. I have made quite a lot of promises and um, I have started working on those promises. Um, I have started working day and night, uh, writing projects proposals to make sure how do I satisfy my people. I have already started doing that. How do you feel being elected? I am very happy. I am very, very, very happy. I am exceedingly excited uh, for that matter. <laughs> like the Kunda Sabji constituency was a very important constituency for UDP to win this last uh, parliamentary election. That is why me and my campaign team, uh, we, we sleep for very, very minimal, actually. When I leave my home at 8 o'clock, uh, mostly I come back 12 o'clock. Uh, just to make sure that we get that seat from, uh, uh, you know, from Sekou Marok, who was voted uh, into the office by the UDP. And, uh, well, why is it so important for the UDP? Yeah, because why it was so important for the UDP, we elected uh, the, the incumbent that was there, Sekou Marong. Uh, it was the energy, uh, our energy, our synergy, our thinkings, our wisdom, our, 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 you know, our everything we put together mm -hmm. um, you know, around him. Know, and, and, and elected him to become the UDP National Assembly member for Latakunda Sabiji constituency. Uh, but he was bribed by the president, he was uh, enticed by the president, um, and, and he left the party. So he felt betrayed? Yeah, he betrayed. What the, the he UDP betrayed, felt. He betrayed with the trust and confidence uh, the electors have uh, had on him and the and UDP as well. He betrayed everything uh, we have around him. Do you think he has delivered up to his expectation um, per se since he started or since because I believe that you had a vote of confidence in him this is the reason why he was selected among the UDP and of course uh, had to be um, elected to represent the, UD, uh, the entire Latin Kunda Sabiji for the first, past five years. You being part of that constituency, do you think he has delivered up to expectation? Well, uh, he did not deliver up to expectation. In fact, he did not deliver anything. For him, uh, the only legacy uh, he has uh, in the National Assembly was to throw out uh, the constitution, our drafted constitution that the country uh, men spent over 160 million on. That is the only legacy he has in the National Assembly and also taking the bribes from, bribes from the president. These are the only legacy he has in the National Assembly. He did not do any infrastructural improvement in that constituency. He did not do anything visible uh, in the constituency because this was uh, the testimonies I received uh, from the voters during the election. Any household I visited, 
or any compound I visited, they were like, we don't even know him. We, don't, we cannot see any visible project around that we can uh, celebrate uh, that it was done by the present National Assembly member. Mm -hmm. This is more of the reason that, he, that is why the constituency uh, electorate voted him how ve how very massively. Do you think it's because of the UDP? Of course. <clears throat> the power of UDP, you cannot underestimate the power of UDP. <laughs> Uh, you cannot estimate the... So the, the UDP power is very powerful in that particular Absolutely. constituency? The UDP is, is very powerful all over the Gambia. It's very, very powerful all over the Gambia. There is no single village in this country that does not have a UDP supporter. There is no single hamlet in this, in this country that does not have a UDP supporter. Like the Kundasabi, yes, it's a very strong, strong UDP base. So that is why uh, me going into the, that election, I knew I was going to win because this is one of our uh, powerhouses. Yeah. In one word, how would you describe Sekumarong? Sekumarong, um, he doesn't have a vision, uh, he doesn't have integrity, he doesn't have moral, um, and he is very, very disrespectful. Yes. All right, so that's your opinion. But what we are going to do is, hence the electorates are on the grassroots, so we are going to save this interview into our local dialect that is in Mandinka. Uh, what we are going to do is, um, you're going to communicate with your electorates. These are the people that put you into office and they expect you to deliver. You have to talk to them. What do you have in store? Sign tenting after election work at Iganyata Yesamba National Assembly. And we are going to talk to them ganyen de proyeta wolle quartier fayoke proyeta kasi national assembly to yalla jeto yemu ne soto ye sa intenti ngano yemu ne soto ko ka foy mo men soto la ti kunda sa ju constituency i've been telling them uh, during my campaign trail and uh, now nga nga nga, nga do ko that le sign uh, since uh, day before yesterday um, nga na safero that le nga na project proposal safero that le in the background of project writing mm -hmm. i was the acting project manager the gambia awashi secretary and before me, Auto, I, I was working for uh, the World Bank Project Coordination Ministry of Education as a regional construction consultant. Mm -hmm. So, in the in the life, na do kube nga beke project project safari and nga beke project writing that as well. Mm -hmm. So, no, that already nga official falang I have started establishing the office. I have office in Buffalo Office of America Constituency Development Fund. The Constituency Development Fund, ni na councilor bill better laje na latri kunda councilor na abuko councilor na faji kunda councilor councilor be faji kunda umu UDP le di councilor be latri kunda umu UDP le di councilor be abuko umu APRC le. In fact, nyanta bitung fanga ndo all office kolo kuno APRC councilor be bundung abuko kuno bar manna make no. So after I'm asking and I can't order any organ because until we come working on the represent, so I am Monday for I'm with KMC. I want to with KMC. KMC, you know what are the the development priorities for that? Because that's something for the next five years. Then we also then then until the project proposal and the project writing, but things like into that, then that's the way forward. All right. So uh, there has been a public outcry in um, on the election of the speaker and the deputy speaker, of course. Uh, which is Sidin Jai and no other person for uh, Fabakal Chambonjata. Uh, it's a opinion no mune mu ye mune mira for wone nyanta kela no fama nyanta kela because ni watim be social media be during back mu be be la opinion no for. Yeah, long ntem ang Sidin Jai blame mam Fabakal blame. Adam mam parole be fair kan Gambia la. Adam mam parole Adam mam parole mam Gambia no bunya. Adam Adam mam parole malong akamenke. Bari presiden mengani miranya mulai ke mana kau? Mulai nak rekai, oli le miru dia rekai kau nyuluk ke speaker anda deputy speaker di. Ati me mira what are going to be the consequences consequences for for those actions. Si dengai ning fabakal, walaupun yang na any important institution head la in this country, especially the national assembly. You know, you can describe it as a Impasse toxic chemicals. These are the people. Many years ago, the 2016 impasse. We learn from the many years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shukuku. Because yeah, yeah, is not as Gambian stink. We learn yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, shukuku. Number one, Fabakar, that a state of emergency. I na constitution that I suspend to extend the time of yeah, yeah, and to extend to illegally extend the time of the the time of the national assembly members. 
uh, that has caused quite Is a it not part of the constitution when you say illegally? Oh, of course, it, you should not. I work at time when that was not the right time to do that. Mole Yaya at that time. Do you understand? People are thinking of how to bring, how to uh, inaugurate a new, put a new president new install. That was not the right time to extend, uh, to declare state of emergency. If a new state of emergency found declared constitutionally, there must be an imminent danger. But don't you think it was it right? Was because uh, when you say imminent danger, what time you go on social media, pictures of the people who are in the and all that, don't you think that no, was the reason? There was no reason? imminent danger. The best thing Fawakar uh, at that time was to go and appeal to former President Yajeme. Uh, we have voted out. Please, please, please leave this place, and it was going to be peace. Instead of doing that, you went and declared state of uh, emergency. That was very wrong. Why was sort of in this legacy? You go to see the guy. This is the boy who went around and was head, making a lot of hate speeches, insulting everybody. He will not step down. Those kind of things. So bringing that boy into the national assembly to be the deputy speaker, but he's going to meet us there. Do you think it's an insult? It's an insult to Gambians. Do you think it's an insult to Gambians? Of course, it's an, no, you, it's you, an, it's an insult to Gambians, even in integrity of Gambians, and also the integrity of the National Assembly. All right. So Bringing so Paradis here as the Deputy Speaker of that House and Fabaka Tumbojada, it, it's not only in, insulting the integrity of Gambia, but integrity of that National Assembly as well. All right. You made mention of. Uh, and all that. Do, why do you say so? There is no evidence to show that. Do you have any evidence to show that? Yeah, I have quite a lot of evidence. Go to the social media. There are a lot of evidence state of emergency. Now I mentioned that. For my day, you know, you can work in the phone. For my day, I have a bit of a For my day, I have a bit of a I mean, to do all those sort of things, they push him into this danger. For my day, Fabakar is not talking to you. Fabakar is not talking to you. I have a lot of people who are talking to you. Betray himself. So I can tell Baro, you say Baro from Betray Nola, sitting in that National Assembly. These are the people that don't have integrity. They can betray you. Well, all, well if you make care of money, 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 finance, properties, this is what they care. And Baro should be very careful. These people can even go and betray him. And he can do anything about it. You said something, Memu, Bari Iben Tarala Jile. When you say Bari Iben Tarala Jile, you mean? Yes, in Miracle Iben, in Total National Assembly. If they think that they will come and manipulate processes, they will come and manipulate services in that national assembly, then they are fooling themselves. Near America, we now national assembly, through a parole agenda, someone and call advance, then uh, I'm telling you, uh, they are fooling themselves or they are dreaming. Because what is, what is right, if that is on the table, everybody is going to support that. But what is wrong, if they want to uh, you know, advance that with an attitude, we will also reject that with an attitude. We are not going to accept that for anybody. But uh, do you realize that they are the majority there? They are not the majority. The, the, by vote, is just how, many, how many? NPP is just 18. Mm -hmm. UDP is uh, 15 plus. Our independent in, 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 in Busumbala is 16. We have uh, PDY is 2, independence 12, NRP 4, or whatever. They are not the majority. But NRP, NRP is, is an alliance. It's an alliance. But APRC is in alliance, with the, an alliance a, with, the, with the NPP. In the National Assembly, NRP is not considered NPP. NRP is considered NRP under the minority category. They are not part of the NPP. So if the NRP... But National do you Assembly realize this in Parliament? Of course you know. When there is a vote, when you have to vote, it's counted by each person, it, right? Exactly. Now, if let's say, for instance, the NRP goes on the side of the NPP. Of course, you know it's an alliance. And you know the NP APRC also has an alliance with them, and they have two candidates who are going to join the NRP. It does not mean that when you are in an alliance with a particular party, any, any vote that comes, you have to you know, you know, vote for that recklessly. You see, when you are a National Assembly member in the National Assembly, you have three loyalties. Loyalty to your nation, to your party, and to your conscience. So if something comes that you know that is not good for this country, I remember that in Bangkok, it's not just good for this country. Why do you vote for it? Why? why? What's the reason? But we've seen the draft constitution when it exactly. came to the parliament. This is unfortunate. 
But many others come to see you know, throw into the cold store, you celebrate, say, come on, roll, fat, more, jab, roll, say, come on, jab, roll, and all the people, we remove them out. But don't move them out, don't move them out. We remove them out, those who are there, I'm going to say, you know, for a matter of fact, I understand about it. They cannot manipulate any process in the National Assembly. If they want to insist manipulating process in the National Assembly, there will be no National Assembly. We will be in standstill. For the, for the next five years, the country National Assembly is going to be in standstill. It's high time that we, we respect the integrity of that house and respect our integrity as National Assembly members. If they want to bring in any foolish idea or any foolish agenda that is not good for the development of this country, we are going to hold the National Assembly standstill. We are not moving anywhere. We are not going to move anywhere. Because at the end of the day, what we are seeing, we are seeing two million people. We are not seeing Barrow, we are not seeing any other person, we are not seeing any particular minister. We are seeing the, this country that is, has more but, than two million but people. But how so are you that every National Assembly member that is voted there or is in the in Parliament is going to see the same, is going to be of the same view as you are? Well, we have started talking to each other. Yeah, in fact, this is something which many and new from Enkore Glauwe. The National Assembly member, the, uh, your constituency has thousands thousands of people. They have go better see no National Assembly. No more killing Kiji, where can the county, I can the Dati, I can the Tuloti, I can the Nyati. So I found the Madama Nyantete Geloko, Tonya Tonya, no responsibility by the Kuna. You understand? But more can make do a National Assembly, a canina, a canina coma. This is very sad. More thousand thousand of people here, wisdom, here, energy, here, here, carry on, here, go into. Then you enjoy the bogus. You could, you could bang on me, but I'm not going to see you. I'm going to cut you. But you can't remove fifty three. I'll tell them more represent two million people. I'll get a little fair one. That is very very sad. So neither national assembly, I just go more like Kiye, more like Nyanto, more like Sulu ni la Hamo. You know you advance here. But when you think of it, neither build build neither lower lower neither. It's a long for you lower better. Vote for it. When you are going to do anything, you can't do anything. But I bet you maybe President don't know. Why do you go in for that? Even if you are part of NPP, you shouldn't even do that. So, sir, it's a lot of people. You believe or not, you believe that you have to believe that you have to be national interest. MP don't believe that you have to be able to do this. It's a lot of people. Including NPP. You believe or not, when it is good, I will encourage even UDP, everybody, to vote for that bill to get past because it's good for the development of this country. It's good for the people of this country. But when it is bad and uh, it is just bad for this country, for the development of this country, for the people of this country, mm -hmm. I will vote against it. I will not only vote against it, I'll encourage my national my fellow national assembly members to also vote against it. Because it's not good for the country. I'm a bit of so this is something the National Assembly many are not comfortable. Many people are not discussing, not discussing. Apart from that, we support it. Not discussing among among people. Be 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 not reject, including the NPP National Assembly members, mm. including them as well. So what do you think uh, are the priorities of um, legislature? The legislature the priorities are right now. We have quite a lot of priorities because right now we have a constitution. Maybe learning in the court store. This is a constitution. Exactly. Look, look. That is why I say we have to go to work as soon as possible. We have to settle quite a lot of things. But the most important aspect of this is the constitution that these clueless people throw into the court store. We will bar under from the court store and we give it life to be the laws of this country. I don't think national as in maybe tell us anything. Maybe worry jekla. Kwanza from the end of the road every time. I'm a civil engineer, that's my first degree. 160 million neo put into road construction. That can give you over 10 kilometers of roads. Why do we waste 160 million dollars in, in, in a national process? You know, an important national process like constitutional documentation. We have paid expert inside and outside the Gambia. Um, consultations we have made outside, inside, outside the Gambia, inside the Gambia. Gambians give us our thoughts how they want to be governed by way of that document, and it was thrown out. Instead of putting that into that national program, why can't we construct roads? 11 kilometers of roads. So if we invest that kind of money into this national process, and all of a sudden, these clueless people do everything, they don't even know why they do it. <laughs> Who are the clueless Just people? Just because of <laughs> the former borough, you know, national assembly members. It's just very sad for Gambians. But Hanisa and Don't Run the National Assembly. Yes, that is why I say, 
we are not going to fight in the National Assembly. But we are going to tell, tell each other to fight. But if anybody also wants us to fight, then we will fight. Just to make sure that we, we, we do what is good for this country. That's, that's, so, that's Nobody can see the spirit of UDP. I can tell you that. If you look at this now, as I mean, the UDP won the popular vote. You know that? We won the popular vote. Because if you look at the vote, you put, you put Bushumbala there, which is our vote, <laughs> we, won, we won the popular vote. So how do you keep the spirit of UDP? You know, UDP is, is a party that uh, it's a party na, of na, intellectuals. Na, na, yes. Now, for you say, you for the UDP is a spirit for you. Do you understand? There is no president who will come to this country. There is no speaker that will come to the National Assembly. You don't you speak up. You don't 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 speak We are all citizens of this country. We all support the United States. We all support the United States. We stop it immediately. We are not even going to entertain the United States. Just because Fabaka is the speaker, sitting there is the deputy speaker, he can't can talk manipulate. No, 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 we know what they know. But let's expose it. But let's carry that city in Fabaka. So what did what did Nadu have? He go and talk manipulate. No way. And I don't think they even have the audacity or moral affinity to even try to do that. To manipulate us? No way. They can manipulate Adama in the state house. They can manipulate his ministers. They can, but they can't manipulate us. Just so I'll pay everyone a bit. Maybe for the Gambian or the Bego, especially those in Latin America, Nasab, all over the Gambia. Alkana Sila, Alkana Encourage, Sirinja and Infabakra cannot come to the National Assembly because they can't manipulate. They can't guarantee them, they can't expose them, they can't go to the North as far as Masa Kuna Doko is concerned. What experience? It's not an experience. Infabakra is the National Assembly time when the woman came to the National Assembly. That was robust to the National Assembly. So that experience doesn't even count. I mean, National Assembly time when the woman came to the Assembly time. No, in those days, what just comes is just to pass his state. There is no heated debate or whatever. So this time around, it's going to be very different for, for him. They cannot manipulate us. Let every Gambian know that they cannot come there. Ning Adama is sent and to the National Assembly people can tell him manipulate. Then it's a joke. They cannot manipulate us. They cannot. All right. Yeah. So, um, I think we break like that and see how we Of course, we catch on the band or the and we judge all the total comment we have on the discourse. We have national interest, let the man can talk individual interest. All of the total we have on the LGBT role, all of the mumuela, and we call we have on the world we care, we have on the international assembly members. All that we have on the catch. We have break in the net all the run and we have all kinds of do that. All see, all see, run can or all. Gibero anywhere, I'll see I'll continue with Gibela. Just a little break and we'll be moving on to the next one. Star GSM has new arrivals of home appliances. Stand fans, blenders, Original flat screens from 32 inches to 65 inches. At Star GSM, their appliances are original, durable, modern, and energy saving. Star GSM also has sports shoes, Timberland, and Scandals. Original perfumes from India, Churai, and Andy Churai from Dubai. Star GSM offers its customers 25% discount on all smartphones, simple phones and HD receivers for national security forces, police, paramilitary, immigration, armed forces, customs, navy, etc. They also have maize powder, Dugula, $1,200 per bag or $100 per kilo. Roast now and visit Star GSM at Westfield, opposite OJ Junction, Telling the market, tap or call the traffic light or call 700-2494. Star GSM Electronics. Ta 
Half Africa Global is the first and biggest private real estate developer in the Gambia with a presence in seven other African countries. We are launching the development of the first smart and most modern office and retail towers in the Gambia called TAF Twins, located in the heart of the Kanifin Institutional Area and 10 minutes drive from Banjul. TAF Twins is designed to have five floors of office spaces ranging from 50 meters square to over 1,000 meters square, two elevators, central air conditioning, 24-hour electricity and water supply, with the ground floor reserved for banking, supermarket, restaurant and coffee shops. For your bookings and reservations, please call now on 376-2333 or 776-2333. Tobacco Control Act 2016 came into force in December 2018. Section 9 of the Act gives every person the right to a tobacco smoke-free environment and a person consuming a tobacco product shall ensure that he or she thus not expose another person to tobacco smoke. The Tobacco Control Act 2016 prohibits smoking including the use of shisha in public places, workplaces and public transports. A person shall not smoke in any part of any public place, workplace or public transport and within 100 meters of such place. These places include